that's what I love about doing my own hair. I do it how I want it to be, to my best ability. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I be gone for too long. Now I'm home. So let's get it cracking. <laughs> up y'all jamari sky back with another video i braided my hair with um weave hair i've never gotten my hair braided by anybody and i've never gotten box braids and mind you i taught myself how to braid when i was a kid and that just consisted of me doing some weird stuff with my fingers so i think to this day the way i hold the hair it's a little weird because it starts to get uncomfortable and like certain fingers start to cramp. So <laughs> the struggle be real. I'm showing you guys my hair. It's been like maybe five days since I did it. My scalp is getting a little dry. I haven't oiled it or anything since I've done it. And I feel like I can, ooh, this is cute. Ooh, I haven't been able to like part my hair like this cause it's been so painful. But I like it. My only problem is I've had my hair short for a whole year now and I'm so used to just being able to feel that wind, you know. I actually can believe that I did this, but I'm actually shook at how well it turned out. Did my baby hair or whatever. This is my first time doing this ever. Like the ends were so rough and I knew I was gonna have to dip it in water, but actually doing it like and dipping it in there and then taking it out and seeing it was all straight i was like "Ooh, magic i got powers <laughs> basically i'm gonna show you how i accomplished this from having hair like this yep Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. So right here, you see, I just put some shea butter and coconut oil in my hair and finger coiled it. Right here, I was picking out the hair, trying to make it not look so blunt at the ends. Realized that didn't work, so right here, I just started separating the pieces. And as you can see, I have little light bulbs in my head. I parted it and put rubber bands in there. And there we go. Okay. All right, so basically my hair is in a rubber band. I took this crochet needle, stuck it through my hair and the rubber band, like my scalp and the rubber band. I grabbed and thin little piece of hair put it inside the little crochet hook pulled the hair through and boom that's one strand connected to my real hair act like my little short piece of hair has grown to the length of that strand that's there that's strand number one then you take another big thicker piece of hair and then you go to town with it like if you know how to braid and know how to add hair to your hair then this is basically what you're doing um yeah i don't know how to teach people how to braid because the way i braid myself is probably incorrect i think i under braid so right here you just see me braiding i think i just said that word like a million times but yeah um if you don't understand what i just explained re-watch it and look at what i did and if that doesn't help um then you're out of luck but I'm just kidding. Yeah, look at other tutorials because this is in fact not a full tutorial. I'm just showing you what I did. So yeah, there we are. Watch me finish this braid. Ooh. I'm gonna start 
making more videos. I was doing pretty good at one point. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. You know what I'm saying? If you got any questions, comment. But anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, this feels so good. This is well overdue. Oh my. Ooh. Sugar honey ass tea. Oh my god. Woo! Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. That's what my hair, that's what my scalp is saying right now. Baby, baby, baby. Are you really gonna stand there staring at me? Yeah.